right, we're out here at Baird's Creek. Last night I looked at uh, what time the sun was gonna come up and it was telling me, you know, twilight around 7.01. I also forgot that it was daylight savings time. So we're here a little bit, uh, a little bit later, I guess, sun-wise um, or brightness-wise than I'd like to be. But we're here at Baird's Creek. We're getting in 18 miles this morning. Um, I don't know if I'll be on trails the whole time, but I am going to run in the new Exodus Ultra Run Shields. Um, yeah, let's hit the trails here and I'll check in once I'm warmed up. Most of the leaves are gone off the trees and winter is settling in here just shortly. We got a lot of rain the past two days, so the creek should be flowing really good. It really is a great, uh, great view when this uh, thing's flowing. It's not always like this. Oh yeah, clean breaks. Yep, I'm going around, not under. I don't know if you can see that buck right there. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh man, it's gonna be a... It's gonna be a beautiful day compared to what we've had the past two days which over an inch and a half of rain and kind of blistery winds and um, it got cold there. So we had some 70 degree days this past week, but yep, it's November. We've got to expect it sooner or later. We've kind of been spoiled to be honest here in Wisconsin. So we're getting into that winter weather here and with that, that'll lead me to a little bit of an announcement here of my next race. Now, I am still doing the Arctic Frog 50 miler and that is December 17th. Now, a month later, on January 14th, I am going to be doing the Frigid Fox Ultra Trek in Campbellsport, Wisconsin. It's a 63 miler, so 100K, um, but it's a winter race and it's gonna be a cold winter race. Um, I just looked at my, some of my uh, last uh, runs in that same exact area last January, negative 20. Um, so it'll be kind of a, a good one to document and might need an extra battery or a different phone to record that one. But that's the plan. So look forward to two back-to-back -back races very quick. Yeah, really looking forward to that Frigid Fox. Got a couple friends doing the race too. So that'll be a first for me is having people I know out on the course. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to the camaraderie and meeting some new ultra friends out there. Kind of getting into a good rhythm now. Got a young little buck right here. Hey, buddy. Chewing on some fruit smoothie honey stinger energy juice. Not affiliated. Quite the fall landscape, huh? <laughs> Sorry I didn't get more videos with uh with the trees covered. Um but yeah, I just didn't record. No real excuse. But shoes are feeling pretty good. Um Obviously not the smartest choice to be always breaking in shoes on long runs, but it has worked for me. Yeah, these things holding up nice.
today is also one of those days where I kind of got to improvise, you know. Um, I'm feeling like splitting this run into, you know, an a.m. and a p.m. run. What we're going to do is we're going to run somewhere around 10 and a half, 11 miles, and then we'll cut it there. And then we'll hit the roads in the afternoon for uh, the remainder, 7, 8, whatever it may be, um, when I do get back to my car. So, yep, just one of those days, you know, um, more or less just kind of time management. Um, I do have some things I need to get done um, around the house, so I kind of want to make them a priority. Um, and then, you know, still get in a double run. And sometimes you just got to do that. So, um, kind of a, it's not the best planning on my part, I guess. But we got to do what we got to do and work around the schedule. Either way, we're getting the miles in. And sometimes, you know, it's nice to kind of uh, split up a long run and uh, get your body used to moving in the afternoon, too. Um, especially for me, since I'm such a morning runner. And I might record extra, if not, um, first impressions of the Saucony Exodus Ultra Run Shields. Man, they are awesome. Obviously, they're a little heavier than what you'd expect for other trail shoes. Um, but with that uh, kind of waterproof technology, you expect some extra weight. So I'm looking forward to using these in my upcoming Ultras in the winter. And hope to see you guys here again very soon if I don't record anything extra, which I might. So see you guys soon. Keep training.